What's going on traders? Todd Gordon here from Trading Analysis. Wow, crazy couple days. Volatility's back, like it's amazing. Uh, we just got done with our first webinar. We did two webinars yesterday with Elliott Wave International, which is great. A lot of people attended talking about what we're doing here, talking about the new relationship with Elliott Wave. Markets, I mean, the timing couldn't be any better. And I, I you know, I, I, I'm going to say we kind of timed it that way. We, Elliott Wave and I, we kind of got together and said, boy, you know, with the start of our relationship, potentially at the market top, it's going to be awesome. And so far, it's been um, so I've got kind of a, um, a challenge going on social media on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I let this guy grow a little bit, get a little grizzly for the for the bear market coming here. So I put a challenge out there. People kind of jumped on me that I won't shave until the uh, 2867 high and the S&P is taken out. So <laughs> if Bob and those guys are right at Elliott Wave, I'm going to look like Tom Hanks from Castaway. Let's see what my wife thinks about this. Uh, anyways, I'm married now. <laughs> it's, all, it's fine. Uh, I just sit down here in the trading bunker. It doesn't matter what I look like. It only matters how well I trade. So speaking of, um, we are short and we did put out the, uh, the alerts with our, with our customers. Um, so I just wanna show you where we are in these markets right here. These are our SPX positions that we have going. Uh, the trades that we sent out to our, uh, to our customers, uh, to our subscribers are posted here on the trade desk. And the trades that I wanna address right here are the, uh, the S&P short uh, that was established here on February 27th. We have this trade going on. And then we put another one on yesterday on March 1st. I think based on the wave count, guys, we might need to start dialing in some of the risk, kind of take some off, because here's what I think is happening. Um, if the, the top is, in fact, in, uh, this, is day, this is down in one, this is wave two, and I think we're starting to work off the excesses of orange one within green three. Green three should get down to about 22.72. That's the 1.618 projection of this move right here. So if you take that distance, multiply by 1.618, project it down, that's gonna give you the typical way three target. Now, the log scale is enabled. So those of you who, sometimes I get emails say, well, why does my FIB not match up to yours? You've gotta have log scale enabled. When you have semi-log scale enabled, that will change where your Fibonacci levels come in, and that's really important. So ultimately, I think on this push, we should be able to get down to here, but as we get off of this and down to like a 20 minute chart, um, inside of the orange one, we are starting, I think, to get a little oversold. We are short term trading this. We're trying to catch like swings from one week to the next and we do it in the options market. I'm a little concerned that if we pull this thing apart, we might have one more push down in blue five of orange one, which then gives us a wave two rally back up. Okay, so we might be following that, or I have another count that says the low is in and we're gonna rally up in wave two. We're short um, from 27.58 and 2700. We're down to 26.76. It's Friday. I think people are gonna come in and start to cover their shorts. So I wanna, I wanna take some, some risk off the table. So um, I'm gonna execute the trade live with you. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to watch to see is, is it just going to be a wave four that's going to come up to the area of the prior fourth, give us one more push. And if that's the case, I'm going to try to be short for the close. But if, in fact, wave one is done, wave one of green three is done like this, then we're going to have the wave two rally, which is going to take us, you know, another 50 or 100 points higher than the S&P. Um, no, I guess it would be... Uh, 27, 39, 40, so 70 points or so. Um, so we just gotta see what's gonna happen. So I think it's best to take some risk off the table and you can see the market starting to tick up here a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, so here, yeah, and I've already given back about a third of the profits that I had as the market's coming back. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this put spread off. We have, we are long the 2,700 puts, short the 2,680, um, up some money on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out. We're gonna sell this one at 890. See if we can get as close to the midpoint as possible, 880. 
send. And that one's filled. Okay, and then the other one we're gonna do is I'm gonna take out, take off this, uh, this butterfly. This butterfly goes all the way out to 29 March, okay, the last monthly. If we can hang into the end of March and it rallies up, then we're gonna get some decay in that butterfly and that guy's gonna be worth potentially up to five or $6,000. I don't think we're gonna be rallying, especially for the next three weeks or so, four weeks. Um, so this is the purple line of the P&L that's gonna happen now. So if the market continues to rally, um, then what's gonna happen is that we're gonna slide down this purple line and start to lose some of our profits. So the reason we got in the trade um, didn't play out exactly. I thought we were gonna be a little bit more range bound and we could collect more premium around 2,700, but um, the trade's working fine. It's got negative delta, but if we start to rally, I'm gonna lose those profits and being that um, I don't wanna hold on for the weekend, we're gonna get out of this as well. So we're gonna try to create this closing order, sell. Uh, 430, 460 by, you know, it's a big wide spread in this butterfly. So let me see if I can go down to 440. See, I don't know. Okay, I just got filled at 430. Okay, so now I'm flat. I hate being flat in this bear market, but again, I'm gonna be watching the depth of this wave four rally. If we start to stall out and confirm by the S&P and the Russell, then we'll reestablish. I needed to adjust those positions anyways. I didn't get into too much detail just because it would take a little while, but I needed to adjust those anyways. So if we have to rally back up, wave four starts to hold and looks like we're gonna have another push, we'll get short for a very short term little push down, but then I think we're gonna get the wave two rally. So as much as we wanna be short, you know, we gotta constantly be managing our risks, taking those profits off the table uh, when we have them. Oh, this thing is itchy. All right, guys. Thanks, hope you had a great week and uh, talk to you soon.